What's up everybody, Paul Carl here. I got a real treat for you. I got a little MVP here for a tool that makes it possible to create um, lot listings for eBay using your ChronoCard exports. Um, so I've already exported the cards. Um, another, this is a side note here, a little tangent. Um, I have a remote desktop connection here to my ChronoCard computer. So I set up a computer that is exclusively for scanning cards and using ChronoCard's AI, nothing else. And um, I'm working on some of the cybersecurity and like backup and disaster recovery stuff. Once that's all done, um, I'll have kind of like a framework that can help other people um, set this up too. So you can have like a virtual assistant help you to do like the data entry, check the AI, all that fun stuff. Um, but anyway, so in the, the this uh, remote desktop, desktop, I have the export. You can copy and paste from, from your remote desktop into your regular desktop. So I done, I've done that and I already did the image editing automations to get the nice squares here. So let's see, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna just run the script, it takes like five to 10 seconds. And it's done. So if we refresh this folder here, look at, look at these beauties. So it took the front and back images these are all fronts here of all the cards for the lots stitched them together in one image so you can show them all here's all the backs and then of course we have the individual images too so all that spit out into this upload folder which hopefully this is working <laughs> i did it i had to this is my not my first time recording this because i caught some errors that were messing up all the columns but look at that it's finally working so you got the titles, the lot of what it is, all the images you can see here, generated all the URLs. Um, we got all these item specifics, all the required ones, some that are not required. Um, all you really need to do from this point is uh, edit your titles. So I want to I want to make sure I have uh, um, decent titles because these are too bland. It's kind of hard to. I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to um, write good titles in, in an automated fashion uh, for a listing like this. So I'm going to say base inserts. Or actually, I'll stop recording and I'll do these titles real quick and then, um, then we'll do the upload. All right, so what I did here was I just added this formula here for length of this so I can stay under 80 uh, for the eBay limit. And I got that done. I put the images here so I could flip through them and just kind of see what were, what was in the lot so I could pick what keywords I wanted to put in just to try to help them sell a little bit faster. Uh, one thing I did just notice, I want to change this because these are from a consignment collection. So I'm just going to add the name on. I'm going to paste this as plain text, ditch that formula. All right, so now this is all ready to go. Just take another look just to make sure yep everything looks good all right so we can close this upload folder go to ebay reports refresh this upload the template upload oh wait cancel that cancel that close oh it did it already they're underpriced <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I had the default price at the $6.99, which, I mean, I'm not going to be upset if someone snags them. Uh, but I'll just change those and we can take a look at what the what they look like. Let me see, there's nine cards. I figure about a dollar a piece. Some of these, are, some of these inserts are like two bucks, two to three bucks. I think one of them is like five. Oh, and I didn't even, um, I didn't upload the <laughs> images. I'm skipping steps here. I'm too excited. Uh, all right, so this is what I do when I uh, screw up. I just end the listings I uploaded. It's nice when it's just seven <laughs> and not a whole bunch, not 200, <laughs> 500, 1,000. Oh, man. All right, so I'm going to fix that. We got to refresh this here. Yeah, see, so this adds, um, adds some complexity to the process, but... That's all right. We got the same folder. You can see my first, my first option I did. 
I, I realized that I had like this these front and back hard coded in for the file names. It wasn't a dynamic one, so that caused some problems uh, because then you can only do one lot at a time, which makes it tedious. So that's what I came up with a little uh, sub process to basically run the script on a loop without having to redo the whole script to work as a loop. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Um, all right, so I'm gonna say 10 bucks for Nolan Ryan, 10 bucks for Pete Rose, Greg Maddox, I think is good at six, same for all them. Kirby Puckett will go seven. Bo Jackson, we gotta do the 9.99. And the Frank Thomas, I think that's all right at 7.99, right? I wanted to put the option for offers on here, but I couldn't find any documentation. So if anybody knows what the heading is for um, allowing offers from Excel, that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, so now these are all done. Let me see, what is this, 60 bucks? I'm trying to think what the hourly works out to that, because this is taking me a little extra time since I'm trying to get used to it. Um, I think it'll be worth it though. I th like I think 10 bucks is a good price. It's cheaper than you can buy the singles for. I have had some customers request um, lots, so this could be a cool way to kind of satisfy them. We'll see if any of the guys that I talk to um, jump on these. All right, so the prices are set. Yeah, I think those are good. I think the boat, I could probably even go higher on Bo Jackson and Nolan Ryan, but I'm gonna let it stay like that because that's pretty cool. One of those Nolan Ryans is like a $5 card by itself. So hopefully that'll sell quick then. Let's see, I believe this is done now. Yep, I think so. Just take a little double check here. Yep, everything is good. All right, <laughs> now for the grand finale. I'm just gonna leave all this in because I'm tired. I don't have time to edit and redo this again. <laughs> the videos take so much time even though they're not like the greatest in terms of production. All right, now, now, we're at the, now our listings are live. So let's go to active here and take a little look. If my internet will cooperate. Hmm. Something's going on with the main images. All right, well, <laughs> I'll fix that. I'm not gonna redo the video. Um, but this is what the description looks like. I take all the titles, put them together. So these are all in heading tags for SEO purposes. If that helps, we'll see. Got all my policies, a little call to action, go to my store. Um, we'll see how it does. And hopefully I can figure out what, why these images aren't going up the right way. Um, but that's, that's the whole concept of this. And right now it's like the code is very tailored to my computer. And I don't, I'm not too sure how to tweak it so that it will work on everyone's computer for and everybody's like directories and whatever so that's something i gotta keep thinking about to in the back of my head and um, i want to get a version that other people can use too without having to like redo code over and over again for every specific individual who wants to use this um this is this is just like a little demo it's really cool i'm excited to see where this goes and thanks for checking it out i found out what the problem was so you can see here I had all these images selected to upload and I'm used to the Excel files being at the bottom of the pile. But look at that. <laughs> There's all my lot images. I just never uploaded them. Everything's actually fine. The issue was I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, everything works fine. Um, anyway. That, that's all for this video now for real this time. Have a good night or morning or whatever time it is where you are.